This is Chris Thomas, and you're watching That Drone Show. Hi, this is Jeff Nance, Director of Marketing and Digital Strategy for the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And make sure that you participate in International Drone Day so we can show the world that drones are good. Drone Hey everybody, it's David O'Neill and welcome to another edition of That Drone Show. Look what I got here, it is the Anago Fly. Now there are a lot of drones on the market right now. I mean, I remember a few years ago when we would mainly talk about the Phantom, maybe we'd talk about the Iris Plus, but now there's so many and this guy has been talked about probably more than any drone I can think of in recent memory. The Anago Fly is small, it's got a 1080 camera, it's got obstacle avoidance, it's got GPS, and it even has a follow me function, which is pretty cool too. So I've been reading some things online about it and I've been seeing comments and posts and videos and I thought, you know what, when I get mine, I would love to have a personal introduction of how to use it, how to set it up by someone at Anago Fly. So I invited my friend Leo from Anago Fly He's coming on the show. Hi, Leo. Leo uh, offered to show us exactly how to use a Nago Fly from you know, just connecting the battery, powering it up, and all the little pitfalls that you may or may not encounter as you use it, because it is a dynamite drone, and we want to show you exactly how to use it, and I want to learn too. So let's get started. The first thing, Leo, what is the first thing that we have to do? Uh, you know, teach people how to power it up. Right, teach people how to power it up. Got it. So. If you um, look at the back of your Inago Fly, it has a little battery uh, compartment here where you just pop it on open, and then inside there are two wires. And what's the best way to get these wires out? How do you take them out? Uh, well, actually, normally I use a clip. Use a little clip, okay, got it. I actually have tweezers. Some tweezers, okay, yeah. cool. So you can use that, or if you want to as well, you can just force it out just like I did. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, actually we have equipped a tweezer in the, in the box. Oh, okay, so there's actually tweezers in the box. Yeah. I didn't look in my box. I got excited, I pulled this straight out, and I was like, <laughs> I want to fly an Ago Fly now. So this is what I did. So what you do is you Water take, water? oh yeah, sure, thanks Leo. So you take these two wires, and then you connect them together, and let's see, just like that. And then to put it back in, I think, what is the best practice here? Is it using the tweezers again, maybe? maybe Probably. Too. No, you just kind of put it, in. put it back in there if you yeah. want to, right? And then uh, Here we have a, yeah. push it down a little bit. Cool. Yep. Okay. Sometimes you should use what's in the box because that is yep. what's equipped. But there you go. You right. put it in there. And then the next step is now, before you turn the power switch on, right? Yep. You have to put it on a flat surface. And another big clue, guys, the orange propellers go out first. If you put it like this, it's not going to fly the way you want it to fly. If you put it like this, it's going to fly the way you want it to fly. So here we go. Let's put it on the ground. All right. So what you do is you put the drone on a flat surface with the battery connected. Then there's a switch on the side here. Just press that in and that's going to power up the drone. And then the drone is going through some setup procedures right now. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds. So just let it sit for about a minute is, is good. It might be quicker than that, but about a minute is great and then it'll be ready to fly. So next you select Anago Fly's Wi-Fi network. The default password is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can connect to Anago Fly and you'll be ready to go. So now we're connected, you can jump back out, launch the Anago Fly app, and it says to open your camera. So we do that. And we're greeted with the Inago Fly screen. All right, so once you connect your Wi Fi network and Inago Fly is all connected and ready to go, you've got your app open. Now, the next pitfall that Leo was saying is most people, like me, and probably like you, they like to hold their phone like this or they hold their phone like this. Now, the thing with Inago Fly, if you hold your phone like this or you hold your phone like this or you're not completely flat, you know, all the way level, then Inago Fly is gonna fly backwards. Right? Just, before it, just before it takes off. So you might launch it, have the phone pointed this way, and bam, it's gonna hit you in the head. That's right. So don't do that. <laughs> Not that I've done that, but just don't do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep Anago Fly app very, very yeah, flat, right. just like that, just like that. And then we're gonna take off. So Leo, what do we do to take off? What button do we push to take off? I've got it flat. Unlock this. So you push unlock. That's right. Now we have to hold it. Just hold it. Yes. Got it. Four seconds. Okay, so you gotta press unlock for four seconds. 
and then an auto fly actually starts up. We've pressed the stabilization button, which is the uh, looks like an atomic symbol with a G in the middle. And then we're going to take the one touch takeoff button. And when we do that, we're going to use the lever here on the right side of the screen just to push it up, right? Yep. Right. right. Cool. So let's do it. We got a little bit of wind here, but hey, let's just see what happens. Remember to keep the phone flat. Here we go. So we're going to take off. All right, so once you're up in the air and you are flying, you just leave the phone really flat, right? Yeah. Make sure the uh, propellers are, you know, the orange propellers are obviously pointed in front of you. Yep. And right. um, it looks cool. It's super stable. I mean, that's, that's very, it. very, very stable. That's it. That's a very stable drone. Now, what if I want to take some uh, some video, some pictures or something like that? What do I push? Oh, uh, there's X. Stop shot. Yeah. Got it. Cool. I can take a picture right there. And it's hovering just beautifully. And then if I want to land, I just push the landing button. What do That's I do? That's right. There? It's in just this guy right here in the middle. Yeah. Okay, cool. Brad, swing around and show him how it lands there. Look at that. Just one touch. I'm not doing anything at this point. And there's a lot of wind. And look, landed perfect. Yep. All right, so that wraps it up for today's show. Leo, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. We learned so much about this little guy here, Anago Flies. First, I mean, the first drone with 1080p, the first drone with uh, obstacle avoidance. It's, oh, yeah. It can follow you. Yeah. It's amazing, and it's so much fun. So, you know, I'm so excited to learn more. We're going to do some more videos and show you guys how some of the other functions, uh, you know, the other features and functions work, and it's going to be fun. So that's it. Leo, thanks so much for being on Thank the show. You, David. All right, everybody. I'm David O'Neill. Don't forget to join us on May 7th. 2016 for International Drone Day. It's going to be amazing. And as we always say, drones are good. International Drone Day is coming. Will you be there? Hi, I'm Anthony Cools. I'm inviting you to catch out the coolest new documentary on drones, The Drone Invasion. Make sure you catch me in the documentary, The Drone Invasion. See what David and Sarah O'Neill are doing. This is some pretty cool stuff. The Drone Invasion, directed by David O'Neill. The truth is up there.